Hello, I'm Jacob and you are watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Um, I am the owner of Exodus Knife and Tool and I am the designer of the Adventure Craft and the Jackalope Knife by Exodus Knife and Tool. Uh, really quick today, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, why I designed the knives that I did, the way that I did and show you the differences in the current sheaths and knives. Uh, so today is December 26th of 2020. I hope that you all had a Merry Christmas. I know that a lot of people opened up some uh, Exodus Knife and Tool knives uh, under their trees yesterday. And uh, I'm just, I've been so excited and so happy uh, with how, how much people love their knives. But I have been getting a lot of questions about the difference between the Adventure Craft and the Jackalope because they are very similar. So uh, to start off, this is, and that was in my pocket, one of the, this is actually the first prototype of the Adventure Craft. The knife was made by Mineral Mountain Hatchet Works. The sheath was made by Grizzly Outdoors. And the reason that I show you this is because a, this belt loop is the style that the new sheaths come in from White River Knives. However, I changed mine and put an Ulta clip on it. Um, and the reason that I want to bring this up, these sheaths are very versatile. Um, you've got a lot of mounting points and slots. There's a lot that you can do with these straight from the factory from White River Knives. Uh, the Kydex is absolutely fantastic. But, uh, so, yeah, like I said, I wanted to tell you that because this does not come from White River Knives or Exodus Knife and Tool like this. But this is the Adventure Craft. This is the Jackalope Sheath. Uh, the Jackalope Sheath is a similar design, still very um, universal, very versatile. It comes with White River's belt loop. You can mount this in a lot of different ways on this knife to carry it. Scout carry, vertical. I've got kind of set up for a plainsman carry. Uh, you can do basically whatever you like. But enough of the, the, the sheaths are, uh, again, very versatile, but they're designed a little bit differently. From the factory, this knife comes and how I have it set up as well. It comes set up to be more ideal for everyday carry, whereas the Jackalope is a belt knife. And so that's an important point to hit when we're talking about differences between the Adventure Craft and the Jackalope, because the design purpose of the Adventure Craft is to be an everyday carry fixed blade. This is a finesse knife. So this is not designed to be your primary belt knife in your end of the world apocalypse survival scenario. All right, this is not the knife that's designed to be batoning through all of your kindling to keep your fire going for the whole night and chopping up logs or anything like that. This knife is designed to excel and just be absolutely fantastic at your everyday carry tasks. However, as a full-tying fixed blade knife at just over an eighth of an inch thick and CPM S35VN, this knife is also designed to be tough enough where in an emergency, uh, you can do some kindling and some firewood prep or other things uh, that you might not be able to do with a pocket knife. This is meant to work like a pocket knife and when you need it, be a fixed blade. And so, <coughs> The difference between, and it, it comes in at like three ounces, it's just super easy to carry. The difference between that and the Jackalope, this is a minimalist, everyday carry um, um, fixed blade knife, okay? That is meant to be able to do uh, so a little bit of rougher stuff if you have to. Whereas the Jackalope here is meant to be, um, Potentially your finesse belt knife, uh, your small belt knife. Uh, this knife is meant to excel at a little bit more of your bushcraft and survival tasks 
uh, while still being very small and easy to carry. So this is not meant to be your one tool option. This is not meant to be your primary survival belt knife and your primary cutting tool. This is meant to be a finesse knife for making feather sticks, batoning, kindling, and other stuff. So it's a little bit less ideal for your everyday carry, but a little bit more practical for more tasks. What I see people use and what it, this knife, the Adventure Craft is designed for most often is uh, food prep, basic um, fire craft, uh, and skinning, and um, fish, and all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, you know, you can do your feather sticks and your fire prep as well. This knife is gonna be more comfortable for your fire prep. If you're doing a lot of work for a long period of time, you've got a larger handle and uh, you know, uh, more blade length. This is a three inch blade. This is just over a four inch blade. This is a full handle. Um, so the, the separation here, everything's about balance and, and the adventure craft is balanced towards everyday carry. The jackalope is balanced towards being a belt knife. Um, so uh, with that being said, um, they are both finesse knives. Uh, I'm kind of was known for designing more is better knives. I designed uh, what was in my opinion, very large practical knives that uh, could do anything decently and a lot of things really, really well. Primarily the Super Coop and the Gunslinger. Um, the uh, design of these knives is very different and the concept here is less is more. Um, absolutely utilitarian, absolutely simple, full flat grinds, uh, premium super steel, uh, decent toughness, uh, decent stain resistance, good edge holding, decent sharpenability, extremely comfortable knives. Uh, I have knives that will be coming out soon that will be less finesse based and more utilitarian. Tougher knives, thicker spines, but still incredibly practical uh, that will be better suited for a primary belt knife for more of your hard use adventures. But um, the Adventure Craft and the Jackalope uh, definitely share the same DNA. They're both finesse knives. One's just a little bit better on the belt and one's a little better in the pocket. Uh, I hope this video has helped you. Uh, I have lots of pictures of these knives side by side for size comparisons on my Instagram. And uh, if you're interested in what's going on at Exodus Knife and Tool, Instagram is probably the best place to go. I update pictures there quite often. I also share um, my followers and my customers and my friends and my patrons pictures there as well so you can see how other people are using my knife designs. Also, obviously, Exodus Knife and Tool is where I sell them. I have a blog there. I'll try and keep it updated, do about one post a week. Uh, and I want to uh, have some sales or have some special deals that are only announced on the blog. I want to, um, you know, to reward people for keeping up or checking the blog on the website because it's such a practical place to keep up to date with everything that that's what I'd like people to do. So uh, ExodusKnifeAndTool.com, Facebook, Exodus Knife and Tool, Instagram, Exodus Knife and Tool. Uh, I mentioned that I am the owner of the company and the designer of these knives. Uh, I do have some knives that I am working on that are designed by other people, which is why uh, I mentioned that. But uh, currently the knives are produced by White River Knives and uh, I'll be absolutely happy if it stays that way. Their fit and finish is absolutely amazing. Their quality is top tier and they are able to allow me a small time designer and small time businessman to offer pre absolutely premium knives and fit, finish and materials at a competitive price with other American production companies. It's, they're amazing to work with, amazing people, amazing family. 
Uh, so uh, whether you purchase from Exodus Knife and Tool or you uh, purchase my designs through White River or you purchase White River's own knives, uh, you will not be disappointed. Uh, White River actually has multiple knives that they're manufacturing that are on my personal grail list that I will purchase because I like them so much. Um, so I was a fan of White River long before I ever talked to them. Like they were, I think my 2018 manufacturer of the year at Blade Show, I'd never talked to them at that point. Um, so I'm still surprised to this day that I'm working with them. Uh, I just, that's the way I feel. Anyways, I've blathered on too long. Thank you for watching. Check out the links in the description box below. And I hope that you have a blessed day and I look forward to talking in the comment section. I don't know if I said that twice, but it is what it is.